So, Michael, I want to talk about Cesar Chavez. This has been a, a dream role for a while. Why? Well, my parents are farmers, man. They, you know, they, they came in from uh, Mexico. They believed in the um, American dream, but they escaped Mexico because there were some farm owners, farmers, that were just not very fair, you know? And so Cesar Chavez was always in the schools, always in the streets. And uh, it's something like, that's just really, really close to me because I understood the pain of what it's like to, to you know, be hungry. I mean, we personally slept six of us in a room sometimes, you know, yeah. and, you know, that kind of stuff, like being resentful almost, you know, they, the easiest way to save money is to not pay what you're supposed to pay your workers. Mm -hmm. But in the, in the 60s, I mean, it was brutal, you know, and that's when my parents grew up. They couldn't use the restroom because they didn't want to use, lose uh, production time. Wow. They couldn't eat. They couldn't take breaks because they had to work 15 hours a day and then eat at the end of the day. And right. I mean, there was so much history behind it. and. You know, it's hard not to get, like, really involved about it, but, no, like... No, right, no, obviously. Why do you think films about other activists, like Gandhi and Malcolm X, had a studio backing, and yet Cesar Chavez didn't? Well, the thing is, and I'm like, and it was a debate, though, too, because you, I mean, I... We did this for the for the people, you know what I mean? Like, and, and if you don't know about, you know, Chicano studies, like, so that you can enjoy it as well, you know? But like, you know, Gandhi and Malcolm X and all the guys, they all had like these great speeches, speeches and they like very passionate. And uh, they, you know, they very much like, were very charismatic. Cesar was like, I mean, he did it because he had to. Like, he was a great organizer. Right. And he wasn't like the most charismatic guy. It's tough to make a movie about somebody like that. So yeah. we focus on the movement. Was that tough as an actor? But yeah, I mean, like, egotistically, like, it's a little tough because it's a big moment. Right. And you have to play away from that, you know what I mean? And just be true to true to self. And, uh, and I thought it was more interesting that here's a guy who wasn't like a politician, they didn't want to like, like, you know, expand himself, like right. to be, you know, he chose to be in poverty, you know? And, and so it takes a lot more um, balls, yeah. you know, for a person that, that's not meant to do this to actually be the, the face of a movement.